why did we put an end to diversity in computers? I don't know. Everything is black now. <music> Greetings, welcome to another Deckard Games YouTube uh, Windows XP Dream Machine thing. And today we have my other Dream Windows XP machine. This was the first build that I had in mind, but due to an incompatibility with the or between the motherboard and the CPU that I wanted to use, which I ended up using, the Core 2 Extreme, which is in my Windows XP build, I ended up swapping all the components, all the parts and stuff like that and uh, made a um, completely different build which, uh, I don't know, ended up like in four videos until now right here on the channel it is the green mean machine but since, uh, well, I have uh, all the um, original hardware that I wanted to use I uh, ended up uh, using it anyway on a uh, another build, as you can see, which uh, was made on a, uh, another channel, which is uh, temporarily uh, suspended, but uh, whatever. And since it is a pretty cool build, at least in uh, my uh, humble opinion, why not share it with, uh, with you? The uh, original thoughts that I uh, have in mind to uh, this specific build. So uh, yeah. Let's uh, take a, a closer look to uh, what I had intended to, uh, to do with my Windows XP machine. And here we are back in closer with uh, our machine. Just a quick tour through the hardware that I intended to use, the original hardware before that uh, incompatibility happened. And speaking of incompatibility, I am using a um, MSI P6N SLI V2, I suppose it is the version 2 of this motherboard, which in the manufacturer's uh, website says that uh, it fully supports the Core 2 Extreme. I have the latest, B the latest BIOS and stuff like that. And uh, no, uh, every time I uh, put it in, it uh, gives me the uh, MSI middle finger and uh, in forms of uh, beeps and bleeps. And it doesn't boot, so uh, yeah. Now it is using the uh, Core 2 Quad of the people, aka the Q6600. Everybody have the Q6600. I have one, you have one, everybody have one. So um, yeah, the Core 2 Quad of the people being cooled by a um, Zalman CPU cooler, which um, is more or less the same that I'm using on my. Uh, Ultimate Windows XP build, but then I ended up using the NVIDIA edition with a green LED and uh, it is silver, not orange, but is it is basically the same CPU cooler, although the fan is also different. This one is a uh, three pin fan controlled by voltage and the other one is already a PWM fan, so um, there's that. We are also using in here 2 gigabytes of DDR2 from um, OCZ, the one that I uh, wanted to use and I ended up using also from OCZ but the um, NVIDIA SLI Ready RAM put a lot of quotes in that but uh, yeah because uh, well that other build ended up um, being around the theme of um, NVIDIA and SLI so uh, with a lot of green and stuff and um, the original build didn't have that theme going on but uh, sure we have for sound down there a Sound Blaster x Extreme Audio which um, isn't the best x sound card out there it has a lot of handicaps when compared to other x but um, it gets the job done. Hardware, sound acceleration and stuff, so uh, that is fine by me. We are using a Corsair SATA SSD, of course. 
again, uh, I believe, th no, this wasn't, yeah, the only thing that uh, went from uh, this build to my final Windows XP machine build was the SSD, the uh, Intel SSD, because it was an era appropriate hardware or component, whatever you want to call it. And this isn't, this is a little bit later, but um, well, it ended up here. Underneath the um, PSU shroud, we are using a Seasonic PSU, which, uh, well, it is just a PSU. And we have a Velociraptor from Western Digital, something like uh, 600 gigabytes or, or stuff like that. I, don't, I think it is 600 or 400. Well, it's a lot of space. Therefore, the uh, Western Digital Velociraptor logo in there. We have an LG DVD ROM or the DVD writer, yeah, DVD writer drive, which is exactly the same that I'm using on my Windows XP build because, uh, well, I have like three or four. And uh, the uh, icing on the cake are the two GeForce 8800 GT, the uh, 512 uh, megabyte uh, version, which are uh, pretty cool. And speaking of cool, cooled by um, Zalman, it they don't have the uh, stock cooler. Uh, Gigabyte went with this uh, Zalman solution, which uh, one would think it would be quieter, but it isn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> which is strange. One of the things that Zalman uh, claimed to be, and it was kind of truth, was uh, performance balanced with silence uh, which this guy kind of does you, you can set it down here i have a knob down here which controls the uh, rpms on the uh, cpu cooler fan and if you uh, configure it to uh, you can barely hear it it cools the cpu regardless so uh, which is fine but these two no sir these are uh, quite noisy and uh, it is somewhat strange, but uh, well, it is what it is. So uh, yeah, regardless, I think they are beautiful, beautiful cards. And um, I don't know, man, when you, when we talk about new computers, the hardware is uh, mainly black. Every manufacturer does black motherboards and uh, Black GPUs with black uh, backplates. I don't know. Everything turned out black. Don't really know why or white. You can get uh, a few cases that uh, have other colors. And then we stuck RGB stuff all over the place. <laughs> Which is uh, kind of odd, kind of weird to... Uh, oh no, I want to buy all black stuff. And then I'm going to put RGB on it. Why can't we have diversity back? Why? Why can't we have a red motherboard, golden uh, RAM, blue uh, GPUs with uh, orange-ish, golden-ish GPU cooler? I don't know. Why? Why? Why did we put an end to diversity in computers? I don't know. Everything is black now. With RGB. Screw it. It is time to plug this thing and play some games. And here we are back with um, our machine powered on. And, you, and as you can see, it is pretty cool, at least uh, for me. I don't know. It is just a lovely build. I really enjoy the two PCIe uh, cables coming out of there like it's a hose or something. But let me, let me show you something. I don't know if it will cut up on the microphone or not. But this is the noise coming from the uh, 2800. So yeah, they are not that silent. Despite that, we have our uh, hardware all installed and stuff. There's our... Q6600 running at 
two gigabytes of RAM running in dual channel, obviously. And we have sweet SLI going on. So uh, I suppose we should play uh, some games. Just a few games, why not? Ah, good timing, lad. I sent two of my best knights into parley with... Certainly. All right. More work. Off I go, then. Yes, me lord. Off I go, then. Off I go then. Is there danger? For honor. All gold is ready required. for action. What do you need? Right. Is there danger? Build more fall. Is there danger? A sound plan. Certainly. For honor. Betrayer of the light. A sound plan. Build more fall. You've done well, lad. This was a sound victory. I don't know, Uther. The orcs were sacrificing towns.
on my way. Anyone hit the LZ? You guys are all over the place. Check in. Psycho here. Down and on the move. Just as down. You see me, LZ? Aztec, I have negative visual feed from your unit. Report. Aztec, report. Damn it. Prophet, I've made it to the beach. You hit the water pretty hard. Some of your suit functions are offline. Let me run a quick diagnostic. The video feed is breaking up. We're gonna try to recalibrate. All right. The suit checks out. You're back online. Still no word from Aztec. No man. Rendezvous with Jester and head to Aztec's location. Careful, no man. Enemy contact up ahead. Oh! <laughs> What the hell happened here? You hear that? Spotted KPA patrols down on the beach. Use your binocs to tag them before you run in line. I see a large transmitting array. That must be the jamming station. And this is it for another video. Again, just a um, quick video talking about the things that uh, I initially intended for my uh, ultimate windows xp machine but uh, due to an incompatibility between the motherboard and the cpu incompatibility which shouldn't exist all the plan uh, went uh, down water and uh, got uh, completely swapped i uh, got uh, new hardware to build a completely different machine but uh, well i didn't want this guy to uh, die, to be um, left alone, sitting in a corner, sad and lonely, so uh, yeah, it is uh, all together and uh, working fine, as you can see, we can even run uh, Crisis, because Crisis, and uh, well, just swap the CPU for a uh, Q6600, 
the People's Core 2 Quad and it's working fine as you can see it's a lovely machine again in my opinion it is just a, a beautiful machine well built all around so uh, yeah I uh, really enjoy it and uh, I'm gonna give this to I'm gonna give this away to uh, Switch Technology for their support on the other channel uh, which is again temporarily suspended because uh, because people being hayholes and stuff like that so um, yeah if you enjoyed this video leave it a thumbs up because uh, thumbs up <laughs> subscribe to the channel down here your support is always very much appreciated stay tuned for more videos feel free to check out all the others right here on this uh, same channel you can follow me on social media if you want to because social media is the new thing as always Thank you very much for watching another Windows XP machine thing and uh, until my next video, take care.